It's been a challenging year covering news amid the coronavirus pandemic, but there's lots to celebrate here in Singapore Press Holdings. Newsrooms from the English, Malay and Tamil Media Group celebrated the best journalism at its annual awards ceremony. Here's a look at some of this year's winners. Straits Times Science and Environment correspondent Audrey Tan was named Journalist of the Year. A subject matter expert and leading voice on science and environmental issues like climate change, Audrey scored several scoops last year, such as Moderna seeking approval for its vaccine to be used in Singapore. Audrey's stories have also had an impact on policy. Her reports on Singapore's role in the illegal wildlife trade led to more seizures, while her reports on the nation's environmental impact assessment framework prompted authorities to make sweeping changes. Congratulations, Audrey! What a well-deserved win. Now, last year was such a tough one for everyone, journalists included. What I want to know is, how did you score all of your scoops despite the COVID-19 pandemic? So previously, I reported on mainly on environmental science and in this time around, I would have to switch tracks to focus on uh, virology and how that would impact human health. So that was uh, a key a key obstacle or challenge for me during that period which I tried to overcome by getting in touch with scientists who thankfully were very patient in explaining to me the science of it and also to help in my understanding of COVID-19 science I also did a Coursera course on genomics and evolution so that helped in my understanding of viruses and all that so I guess a lot of the stories that I did last year was had to rely on emails getting experts to be able to respond, uh, trawling through um, social media platforms like Twitter where scientists often share their papers uh, and then trying to find stories that would be relevant to our Singapore audience from there. And boy, were they relevant indeed. Now, out of all the many pieces that you did last year, which would you say you're proudest of and why? So some of the more memorable pieces I did last year on COVID-19 science were not just solely about text, uh, it was also collaborations with the uh, other parts of the newsroom, such as the art desk, for instance. I remember one particular piece, we did a kind of like a cartoon thing on the COVID-19 lexicon, COVID tunes, where I, I worked with an artist hub uh, to come up with cartoons that kind of exemplify the kind of new normal that we were facing, introducing new scientific terms to the audience, like PCR, uh, R0, and other kinds of scientific terms, vaccines and all that. So that was one particularly memorable piece. Another one I think was uh, when I wrote about how Moderna was going to introduce or was seeking HSA approval to sell their vaccines here. And that was pretty exciting because it was before any vaccine had been approved for use worldwide and Moderna was one of the front runners. So we did an interview with the Moderna CEO who shared with us that he was actually seeking HSA approval to market their vaccines here. So that was exciting because you know you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and here we are today. The Young Journalist of the Year Award went to Chu Yunting, whose editors have described her as a real-life Swiss Army knife who can handle any story that comes her way. As a business reporter at The Straits Times, Yun Ting ensured that the financial woes of small and medium-sized enterprises and business owners in a time of recession were not forgotten. Her coverage of Honest Bee's demise from late 2019 to early 2020 culminated in an exclusive on its liquidation. The other awards were largely dominated by the Straits Times' extensive coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. Malaysian Bureau Chief Shannon Teo's piece on Malaysians anticipating emergency measures in the face of COVID-19 was named Story of the Year. Feature of the Year went to a special report on how Singapore frontline workers and scientists here tackled the coronavirus outbreak. While ST's multimedia package on COVID-19 victims around the world clinched cross-media of the year. Executive photojournalist Chong Jin Liang won Picture of the Year for this shot of people walking across the causeway from Malaysia towards the Woodlands checkpoint. Jin Liang snapped this winning photo in March last year, just before Malaysians were barred from travelling abroad. The Straits Times coverage of last year's Singapore general election also bagged some awards. For this graphic on how electoral boundaries have shifted through the years, Joseph Rickerford, Rebecca Passos and Tong Yong Jun scored infographic of the year. 
Meanwhile, the Best Video Award went to The Straits Times live show on polling day, which raked in over 700,000 views on both YouTube and Facebook.